Victoria Blizzard on Classic Frozen. Uh, anyway, yeah, Blizzards are going to be on. Uh, alliances are going to be on, which makes sense since it's a fixed game. Um, and uh, the bots, I don't think we'll have any bots, but if we do, they're expert out of um, No fog. Uh, and, but we do have stable portals. All right, we have Talical, just hopped in. Yeah. Think Banana. Okay. So we got Dino going first. We already see the Alliance is flying. We're going to be watching from Veronica's POV. Classic Frozen map. All right, and all of the blizzards are on the West Hemisphere side of the board. So Greenland and Argentina definitely help choke this board up a little bit. And then you have the Alberta blizzard, which doesn't really... It, it chokes things up a little bit, but not nearly as much as the Argentina and Greenland blizzards do. Um, so in a fixed, in a classic fixed game like this, uh, the main difference between this and Classic Fixed is the blizzards, the portals, and the fact that it's Classic Frozen instead of the standard Classic Map. So some of the differences between the Classic Map and the Classic Frozen Map, Japan and Western U.S. are connected. Argentina and South Africa are connected. Argentina and Australia are connected. Madagascar and Australia are connected. Um, but some of those things get uh, removed by that Argentina blizzard, some of those connections. Uh, and then Greenland is connected to Ural, but... Not in this particular case. Greenland's not even connected to Iceland, thanks to that blizzard. And then the other connections are into the U.S. So Japan into the U.S. and Europe into the U.S. All right, so we see Dino appears to be lining up the Australia bonus. Veronica's took his first move. He appears to be lining up the Africa bonus. Talical uh, took his card in Europe, but uh, it's going to take some doing before he's able to get into uh, that Europe plus five there. All right, and uh, Dedestro looks like he kind of has the South America spawn. Excited to see how this plays out. Group one took like 15 minutes. Uh, no, Fast Sepe. Thank you for offering that, but we uh, we got everybody here. Um, find this map plays out like classic fix, but the extra sea lanes allow for easier bounties. Yeah, that's probably fair. And then the blizzards are a way to kind of offset uh, those extra sea lanes, which uh, is definitely occurring this game. <clears throat> All right, banana juice going for North America, it looks like. The Destro, first person on the board with a bonus. And then last but not least is going to be Roberto. So when you're going sixth in a classic fixed game, the issue you can run into is, oh, geez, the first five people have all claimed a bonus, and I know that they're not going to let me hold Asia. So if you're Roberto, you're going to have to figure out who you're contesting because uh, Asia is not an option. Um, one option, though, is to go for the, uh, the isolated nomad stack. Um, and just group things up and see if you can hit somebody hard. Uh, Roberto is not going to do that. Roberto is going to move into Europe, and Roberto appears to have more of a claim to Europe than Talical does. So Roberto has chosen to contest Talical in Europe, and Talical doesn't really have um, the best lines in. He's got a 5 sitting in India that can make its way over, a 3 in Quebec that can make its way over. So uh, Talical could contest, but um, Roberto is in a much stronger position for, for that uh, European bonus claim. So, Veronicus did not use his 3 of New Guinea. Uh, Dino's just going to go ahead and smack that. And move out of Europe. And then defends from Indonesia. Veronicus is going to continue working on Africa. Uh, Dino did not move out of Africa. Uh, presumably because Veronicus didn't spend his 3 in New Guinea, maybe? Uh, unclear. It looks like Veronicus is kind of spreading out some of his troops. But if I'm Veronicus, I, I go for Africa as soon as possible. Um... But he doesn't. He's trying to get his four out of Eastern Europe, asking Dedestro to move his two out of the way for the, from the portal. Goes ahead and uh, grabs his card on the Siberia portal, and fortifies to East Africa. Going to encourage Dino to move his five out. All right, Talical in a real tricky st uh, spot here. Uh, I feel like if I'm in the sixth position with no bonus, I just try to slow down others and try to line up a bounty. I can see that because if you get a bounty, then you just pick up that bonus. That makes sense. Uh, Talical seems to just be uh, taking cards um, and not moving out his 7. So I think Talical knows that he has a little bit of time before he absolutely needs to move his 7 out. Um, so we'll see what he ends up deciding to do. Nedestro does back off his 2 from Central. And now we're looking at Banana. Banana probably still... Yeah, Banana's very much interested in taking North America. I think if I'm Banana here, 
I just take Quebec and then wait for people to move out because people should be leaving, right? Uh, Baronicus clearly wants to leave. Talical, I think, would prefer to have that three in Western Europe as opposed to Eastern US. But he didn't make that fortify last turn, so we'll see. All right, Roberto. If you're Roberto, you're going to try and pressure Talical to leave. I think the best way to pressure Tal to leave uh, is to fortify onto Ukraine. But it looks like maybe he wants to move the, his North Africa troops and his Alaska troops out um, of those bonuses. So it looks like he's going to take the time to do that now. <clears throat> yeah, so let's see where, where his fortify is. Fortifies out of Southern Europe, which makes sense. That allows Talical to, to take his seven uh, either into Africa or into Asia. Dino getting his five out of South Africa. Clearing the way for Baronicus to go ahead and pick up Africa if he wants it. Yeah, I think if you're Baronicus here, you just you go ahead and take Africa. Looks like he's stopping short of taking it, hoping that Tal gets his Congo troops out. Tal in a very tricky spot here. You think Roberto kills Talic eventually unless Talic trades early? Yeah, that's probably fair. Veronica's sitting with a set on three, a ten set on three specifically, which is which is always nice to see in a fixed game, especially especially your first trade. Tal moves on to the portal and leaves Europe. He's going to give Europe to Roberto. If you're Roberto, you love to see that. Uh, Banana Juice probably less happy about that decision since that portal happens to be in North America. All right, Dedestro playing the standard South American fixed play. Has South America with reasonable guards uh, on both ends. Going to switch to a uh, retaliatory guard, counter counterattack guard, um, and is just going to take cards in Asia. Uh, if you're Banana, yeah, you probably just take Alaska and try to pressure that 11 out. Hits, hits Tal's 3. Yeah. Banana's going for, hey, I, I, I gotta pressure you out of here. Moves his Asia stack into North America. Raises the defiant sword of war, presumably at Talical. Roberto. <clears throat> no longer has anyone to fight. He may as well pick up Europe here. He completes his Europe take. What's his fortify? Just going to do an even guard Ukraine and uh, Ukraine and Western Europe. Actually, I should say Ukraine and Spain because that Ukraine and Spain they rhyme, right? Anyway, the uh, a couple eights on Ukraine and Spain there. <clears throat> Dino minding his own business in his Australia corner. Probably just going to take a card and pass. I think if you're Dino, there's not much reason for you to stir the pot here. Unless unless you're looking to take Baronicus out, because right now Baronicus is under 20 troops. So, um, Baronicus probably should have taken Africa last turn. He definitely has to take it this turn. Um, and yeah, no reason not to trade here. It is a bummer to see that one of the cards he traded in was Congo. So he could have had an extra plus two had he taken Africa last turn. Um, it's perfect dice. No complaints there if you're Baronica. Setting in to get you out of the fish out of the fish position. And you have a nice plus three um, that is unlikely to be broken. So we see Banana raise the sword as soon as Talical gets his turn. Tal is going to set in for 13. And Talical has resigned himself to the uh, Nomad Asia stack with uh, 21 troops on the stable portal in Siberia. Destro continuing his master plan of taking cards in Asia. And decides to point his 14 away from Baronicus' 25. Banana's going to trade in his horsey trade. And finish the North America take. Where does he send his 8 Quebec troops? Going to create a 25 stack of his own on the Destro's border. Okay, so I think right now you're looking at Tal being the first out. Tal has no bonus and has already used his trade and does not appear to have lines on any future bonuses. 
Talek needs to be asking others to attack red. Yeah. Okay, Roberto is going to stack over in Western Europe. That does leave Ukraine to be a little bit vulnerable. Dino going to trade in his 10 set on 4. So Dino could be a real turd here and decide to break Roberto. And I don't think there's much Roberto could do about it immediately. It all depends on if Dino wants to be a turd or not. But I'm sure Talik would welcome it. <clears throat> no, Dino's resisting the urge. Has a massive 26 stack over in China. Veronicus only exists in Africa. Not going to uh, not going to piss off his neighbor. Takes a card in the Middle East and moves his stack over there. Talek just peacefully taking cards. The Destro probably going to continue his Asia card taking strat. Sets for 10 on 4. Seems like Dino might kill Talek soon. Yeah. Yeah, we we, uh, we certainly could see that. The Destro going to point his, uh, his stack another direction. With a little bit of a roadblock in front of Banana Juice. Banana also taking cards in Asia. <clears throat> Alright. I'm curious what Roberto is thinking with the Western Europe guard. Um, is he trying to pressure either Baronicus or Banana Juice? Roberto sets for 10. Sets on 4 for 10. Alright, Dino seems like he's going to line up the uh, Talical kill, maybe. Nope, going to move to Ural. If Dino has a set on three, he might attempt it. So this may very well be Talical's last turn. No set on three this time for Baronicus. Talik is just moving away, trying to stay alive. Uh, long enough for something else to happen. Something else other... Some some other means of progressing the game aside from his death is what Talical's hoping for right now. But there's not much he can do to uh, instigate that without further ensuring that he gets last. The Destro Banana, the Western Hemisphere Continent Holders. Just playing a peaceful game of card trading in Japan. Alright, Roberto has beefed up his Eastern European border. Alright, if Dino has a set on three, maybe you uh, maybe you attempt the Talical kill here. He probably has it. The problem is, if Dino goes for the Talical kill, he just dies. Um, Baronicus probably just finishes off Dino. So that's that's the tricky part with Fixed, is uh, the juice is seldom worth the squeeze for bounty kills. Alright, decides to step out into Siam. Or Southeast Asia. All right, so Baronicus could break Roberto, but no, he's his Baronicus really only has one option here, and that's take his card in China. If you take the card in India, that makes it more likely for someone else other than you to get the uh, Talical kill, and then obviously you don't want to break Roberto because he's bigger than you. Talical gets his set on three, lives to fight another day.
we it uh, we'll find out if that trade changes Talical's fate or just delays the progression of the game. We'll find that out in a few turns here. But even with that trade, not being on a bonus in a fixed game really hurts. That trade does not get him out of the fist position. He is still four troops behind Veronicus. Everyone else is over 50 troops. These three trades are just going to delay the game, unfortunately. Yeah. Banana sets in on uh, sets in for 10. Sets in on three. Just shy of the, uh, of the magic number. Roberto also sets on three for 10. Half of the uh, game lobby having some excellent card luck here for the second round of trades. No one's really looking to do anything spicy. Maybe if Talical was on four cards, maybe you might see someone try to do something, but... We're, uh, we're playing the, the waiting game right now, folks. Playing a nice, calm game of good neighbor play with simple card taken. Nana and Roberto easily finish one and two if this goes for a while. Yeah. Yeah, Banana and, R and Roberto both make in plus five. Uh, which is two more than Veronicus and three more than Dino and Destro. Veronicus has a trade, but I haven't been paying attention to his hand. I don't know what I don't know what he's holding. It's either a four, a six, an eight, or a ten. I think last time I looked at his hand, he was on three cards with two cannons and an infantry. So he's got the cannon trade with a Middle East plus two, effectively making it a 10. Decides to go ahead and use it, puts him on 60 troops. He are, you, I mean, you already know you're going to put it all in Middle East. Uh, and it looks like your card is Afghanistan. Yeah. So nothing too much has changed for Baronicus there. He does draw the horse that he would have needed for a 10. Ooh, we see Talical. Calico is going to manual Dino's stack. Getting decent dice. Calico trying to pick on Dino here. Can he pull a Dino bounty out of his hat? Not a... Well, not a bounty. Excuse me. But he does steal Dino's bonus. Dino's sitting on five cards. Does he set up someone else to take the Dino bounty? Dino saying thanks. The Destro is going to go for the Dino bounty. Dino sitting on five cards. 37 to 33. GG to Raging Dino. Holy smokes. Congrats to Dedestro taking the first bounty of this game. And congrats to Talical for feeding himself at least uh, fifth place in this game. So now uh, Talical and Dino and Dedestro, excuse me, are uh, are in slightly rough shape. Banana Juice might be thinking about taking the uh, the Destro kill here. Would need to split. He's moving in on the Destro. This appears to be a kill attempt. And it's going to be successful. GG's to the Destro and well played to Banana Juice taking the second bounty of this game. No Australia, no win. That's exactly right. Why did he stop and not try to kill Dino? I don't know. Uh, trades in with the uh, with the Destro's cards, which were Dino's cards. Talical, meanwhile, sitting back saying, I am somehow not going to get last place. So, it looks like both Talical and Roberto are asking Veronicus to attack Banana Juice. All right, so Roberto is is uh, in control of this game. He's going to go in on Veronicus and hit Banana Juice. So right now, Roberto and Talco are the only two players on the board with bonuses. <clears throat> it does look like Roberto is favored to win this game at this stage. Veronicus... 
Veronicus is going for the Tal kill, maybe? Or is he going for the Banana Juice kill? Veronicus going in on Banana Juice. He's got enough. Holy smokes. GG's to Banana Juice, and well played to Veronicus taking the third bounty of this game. Um, and I'm eating my words from earlier when I said that Talical couldn't do anything to change the situation. Talical is now uh, going to get at least third place this game. Veronica's going to beat up on Roberto a little bit. Roberto is a smidge too big, but I think it's a little, it's too little too late. Uh, we'll see if we have the talical Veronica's alliance going. Nope, Talical trying to improve his position and hopefully get a second. We'll see if, uh, we'll, we'll see what Roberto decides here. Roberto is going to be the uh, the silver medal uh, awarder here, and the bronze medal awarder for that matter. Yeah, Talical just going to feed Veronicus for second, which, given the spawn and the start he had, uh, I can't imagine um, I can't imagine him being particularly upset about this situation, uh, and who's certainly not upset about how this has worked out is. Roberto. Roberto gets to take first place in two bounties, and it looks like he'll be able to get it done this turn, provided there's no pathing mistakes. He's going to have to split through the portal there, and make sure he leaves enough to take the white kill. We see the dab come out for the 69 stack. GG to Veronica's TV, and well played to Roberto, taking the fourth bounty in this game, and getting ready to take the fifth. So, well played and well fought to all the players. Uh, shout out to Talical for surprising me in worming his way out of last place and into second place. Um, GG to Talical. And, uh